Tony Rodeo is the president and CEO of Tropicana Entertainment. In fact, he was just named the CEO of Tropicana Worldwide on the globe. As if that's not enough, now he's the morning man on ZXL. What's this all about? This is just a little bit of fun. I mean, uh, these guys do a great job uh, in the morning, and we had an opportunity to do a little uh, radio promotion, and uh, they had fun yesterday, and we're going to have a little fun today. Actually, what happened was Joe and Scott, the legendary morning team here on ZXL, filled in for Tony. We're going to talk to them, and right now we're going to show you a little bit of Tony Rodeo in action as the morning guy on ZXL playing rock and roll for Atlantic City. Check it out here on NJ.com. 100.7 ZXL South Jersey's Rock Station. Joe and Scott here. It's a two for Tuesday. That is Van Halen. 7.50 is your time. Your temperature is 56 degrees. Sunshine out there with a high of 75. Look who's here. Tony Rodeo. Are you the president or CEO or is it both or what is it? I'm both. President and CEO. Of Tropicana Entertainment. That means all the properties that Tropicana has. We had his job yesterday. Yeah, you know what? A year ago, almost a year ago, we were trying to dig out from Hurricane Irene. Right. You guys were there two day, for two hours yesterday, and I'm trying to dig out from Hurricane <laughs> Joe and Scott. <laughs> year over year, I, I think I'll take Hurricane Irene any day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> we're Category 5, that's what we were. Oh, my God. Really? You know what? I told you guys you couldn't fire anybody. Right. I thought it was understood that you couldn't hire anybody either. Who's the blonde bimbo you left behind after you guys <laughs> left? Where, where did she come from? Yep. She's that adorable. That was our present to you. <laughs> Oh my God! You know, we, we, we like to give. That's that's what we do. How can we say no to her? Exactly. I mean, she just came up to us and said, "Can you hire us?" I mean, you know, six figures. What the heck? I know. I kept trying to tell her that she had to leave. No, but Joe and Scott. Joe and Scott said this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She had a very difficult interview process. <laughs> <laughs> Can't actually talk about. But I didn't think that any two people could cause that much damage in just two hours. Well, you know, we uh, we try. Yeah, we well, now I've got one hour, so I'm going to see if I could uh, yeah, double exactly. the damage. Exactly. What well, is this? What does this button do? Joe and Scott. ZXL Mornings here in Atlantic City. It's a rock station. In fact, uh, three doors down in the background right now. So, okay, so Tony Rodeo's over there doing your shift, and yesterday you ran the Tropicana. How, how, how'd it go? Well, I, I, Joe has long said that it's incredibly easy to be a casino executive. We knew that if we took over, that things would be better than they were. I mean, and how could you improve on the Tropicana? But we did. Mm -hmm. Did you bring in any new restaurants? Did you bring in any new slot machines or anything? I, they've got the top. They've got the, all the new slot machines. I don't know what you could have brought in. Well, we were a little concerned about the food portion size at Carmine's restaurant. We think it needs to be bigger. Right. But, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, like Carmine's could get any bigger. <laughs> We, we were supposed to do administrative stuff. We we wanted to do stuff for ourselves. We we were watching our own movies on IMAX and stuff. I mean, in the you know in the quarter and we did rename the quarter to the half dollar though because we wanted to show that it was bigger. You know. Now, did your duties yesterday enable you to actually get into Diamond Jim's, the Players Lounge, and imbibe with you know all the amenities that they offer for players at the Tropicana? You know, they kept us away from the high rollers for some reason. Why yeah, did, why they, did I don't know do why they did that. They didn't allow us to do stuff. There's something about casino regulations. We weren't allowed to do certain things or whatever. Tried to play a little blackjack. Wouldn't let us do that. But did hire and fire a couple people, though. That was good. <laughs> and we got Scott blacklisted, which is really cool. Yeah, that's so. always, yeah. So I can't ever show up in the casino again. So that's fun. You know, we just have fun here. This is Atlantic City. And I'm Mark Berman for NJ.com.